of Corey Stapleton in the uh, tw what is normally the 28. So where's all my Stapleton fans at? And running shotgun on the field. That is going to be the 01B of old Grandpa Gums, Kevin Bruck. So first of three big heat races right now. Picking up the pace, Matt Stubbe likes what he sees, drops the green, and we are racing with your stock car feed, your stock car hot heat races. Sorry, got to get the tongue tied out. Right now it's Mike Nichols to the early advantage as he slings them through with one and two, but they are trying to go three wide. Ryan Webb to the inside wisely backs out, but it is flying Brian Blessington and the box home bullet, Tyler Pickett, side by side. Now here comes Webb again, trying once again. This time he will push a three wide coming out of turn number four as they head down the front stretch. This time, Blessington is the one that does not quite get the good run. Pickett will take over second. It is now side by side, Webb and Blessington for three and four. Then you have Corey Stapleton rounding out the top five with Kevin Brook right behind him as they to put another lap down. Mike Nichols starting to feel the pressure as he hears the knocking on the back door. It is Tyler Pickett. First time here in 2021 for the box home bullet, and he is going to try and make it a good one. As they fire it off back down to front stretch into one and two. Oh, little shot in the shorts from Pickett to Nichols with love. Just letting him know, hey, I'm there. Meanwhile, you got the 92B of Blessington who has gotten around Webb, but Webb now trying to get back to the outside of Blessington. Bruck trying to go to work on Stapleton. We have five laps to go. Down the back stretch into turn three, it is Pickett looking to the inside of your defending track and national champ. They're gonna, he's gonna pull it side by side, coming out of four down the front stretch. They fire under Matt Stubbe with four laps to go. Nichols able to get back in front of Pickett. Pickett trying to get himself wound back up for another shot at the champ. He is floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Trying to get underneath of him, he can get back up to the rear bumper, but that is about it. That is about the best battle on the track right now is your battle between Nichols and Pickett for one and two. Three laps to go this time. The amount of time that Pickett has to get try and get by Nichols is getting shorter and shorter. Coming out too, a little bit higher line, a little bit better run for Nichols as he is going to pull ahead of Pickett down the backstretch into three and four. Green flag is in the air, two laps to go. It is still Nichols, Pickett, Webb, Blessington, and now Grandpa Gump's Kevin Brook has taken over that fifth place position. Matt Stubbe, your chief starter, has the flag in the air right now as Mike Nichols is going to fly underneath of it. Once again, tonight, special permission from IMCA to do draw, redraw in both the stock cars and the sport mods. There are 18 stock cars. Everybody will transfer to the feature later. Coming out of turn four, Mike Nichols is going to win heat number one. Tyler Pickett in second. Ryan Webb third. Flying Brian Blessing in fourth. And Kevin Bruck is going to round out your top five. Your third and final row, we'll see the 78M of Joe Merrill and the 10 of Mike Stapleton. Taking a look at the third heat race, and there are no slouches in that one either. Another stacked affair, ladies and gentlemen. As they come into turn number three, Chief Starter Matt Stubbe taking a look at them. He likes what he sees, and we are back to green. It is going to be Micah Hildeball with the early advantage as he fires him off down into one. Right behind him, a snarled pack as he's got Clayton Modernock, Bo Lundquist, the seven of Partridge also right there. Here comes Mike Stapleton to the outside of Partridge. That is your battle for three and four. I'm sorry, four and five right now 
as Partridge has it. Stapleton wants it. Stapleton high wide around the outside. He's going to get by Partridge, who uh, has the right side of his hood popping up. Not sure what's going on there, but right now the field pretty much in stip or slip step with each other. Peel the ball, followed by the 91 of Modernock. Now looks like Mike Nick or Mike, sorry Mike Stapleton trying to get to the outside of the 2B of Bo Lundquist, not able to get it done. Lundquist is, oh, now here we go again into turn one and two. Stapleton to the outside of Lundquist. He's at the corner at his door. They're side by side down the back stretch as they fire it off down into three. Stapleton drives it deep and starts to wash up the track for his troubles. Meanwhile, up front, we have a battle going on between Hildebaugh and the 91 of Modernock. Modernock not able to capitalize on Hildebaugh, but Mike Stapleton, give him P3 as he was able to get around the 2B of Bo Lundquist. Trent Partridge, I'm sorry, Tyson Partridge still sitting there in that fifth place spot. Modernock once again trying to look for a way underneath of the 72H of Hildebaugh. Not able to do it, but now he's got even bigger problems as here comes Stapleton. The Stapleton wagon is fast. He is going to go to the outside of Modernock. Not quite able to make it go this time. Modernock has found something on that low side that he likes. Not sure what it is, but he is able to hold off the 10 of Mike Stapleton at bay. Now here he goes coming off turn two. Gets right up to the back bumper of Hildebaugh. That is as far as that train goes. Two laps to go. Once again, it is Hildebaugh, Modernock, and Stapleton. One, two, and three right now. Bo Lundquist sitting P4. At ah, correction, Bo Lundquist now P5 as Tyson Partridge now gets around him. Stapleton with a great run as he gets on the outside of Modernock. They are side by side right behind your leader for two and three. White flag is out one lap to go. If one of them is going to get it, get an edge on the other one, they need to do it and do it now. Through one and two. Stapleton with a good run. He is going to clear Modernock. Now he's got one shot at the 72H of Hildebaugh. Nope, not going to do it. Micah Hildebaugh is going to win. Mike Stapleton in second from the outhouse to almost the penthouse. Clayton Modernock third, Tyson Partridge fourth, and Bo Lundquist will round out the field. One of the Lake City Raiders, the 81 of Devin Smith. Row number three to the inside. The man who is... Uh, very, very close behind the uh, current points leader. That is the three of Wahoo, Mike Albertson. And rounding out the field from Galva, the 66 of Mike Vondrak. As I said, folks, this one is a stacked one. And Matt Stubbe likes what he sees. We are racing. As they fire him off down in turn number one, it is going to be Brock Badger. He is going to win the, the race down into one. And now look at this. They're trying, they were trying to go four wide for a second. Now trying to go three wide. Now funneling down to two wide. As you have the 81 of Devin Smith in second. Then it is Clucky, Mosier, Albertson, and Vondrak. Throw a blanket over all four of them. For three, four, five, and six as they're trying to go to the whip and catch up to the 81 of Smith, who is uh, working on the back of the 50B of Badger. Now look at Wahoo Mike Albertson. He's going to sling underneath of Big Sid Mosier in the Frosty Mobile. Oh, look at that. Albertson a little bit, a little bit too slideways, able to gather back up, but loses about three-quarters of a car length to Mosier. He's going to battle it back. Maybe just a little bit of contact. Nothing major. No horn, no foul. Meanwhile, up front, it is the 81 of Devin Smith looking to the outside of Brock Badger. As they go into turn one, give the lead to your new leader. Devin Smith now leading. Brock Badger now goes from the hunted to the hunter. Here comes the 0-2 of Adam Clucky. Clucky now to the outside of Badger. 
He saw the open the door open and decided he was going to come on through too. Unfortunately, Clucky not able to capitalize. It is Devin Smith, Brock Badger, Adam Clucky, Mike Vondrak, and Mike Albertson rounding out that top five. Albertson not looking as quick as he has the past few weeks. Not sure what's going on with that three car or if he's maybe just saving his stuff for later. Right now it is Devin Smith starting to extend his lead slightly over the 50B of Badger. Meanwhile, Adam Clucky right there on the back bumper of the 50B. If Badger sneezes, it's going to go all over Clucky's visor. Two laps to go. As they sail back through one and two one more time, the field pretty much strung out. We'll see if Adam Clucky has anything for Brock Badger. As it appears that is going to be the only battle on the track. That is for positions two and three. Clucky looking like he should be in a rap video doing the little three-wheel hydraulic motion as the white flag comes out. But up front, it is all Lake City Raider, Devin Smith. As he's going to slide through three and four. Matt stubby has got the checker in the air. Devin Smith's going to win. Brock Badger second. Adam Clucky third. Mike Vondrack fourth. And wahoo, Mike Albertson rounds out your top five. Row number three to the inside. That's a 92B of Fly and Brian Blessington into the outside. The 72H of Micah Hildebaugh, Crawford County Speedway. We need you to get up and make some noise, as my announcing cohort, Scotty DeYoung, would say. The track is set. The drivers are game. This is a class too tough to tame. Your IMCA stock cars presented by Smithfield Foods. Inside of row number four, it's Elkhorns, Tyson Partridge in the straight up number seven. And the number five A of Tyler Pickett from Boxholm on the outside of row number four. Row number five to the inside, that is the Lake City Raider, the 81 of Devin Smith to the outside from Galva, the 66 of Mike Vondrak. Denison's own Mike Stapleton in the 10 and then Mike Nichols from Harlan in the 63. Row number seven, the 01B of Kevin Brook and the 2B of Bo Lundquist. Mike Albertson, Corey Stable, and Joe Merrill, and Big Sid Mosier round out the field. We are $1,000 stock car racing, ladies and gentlemen, as they fire him off down into turn number one. It is going to be the Halber driver, Adam Clucky, with the early advantage. But here comes Brock Badger hanging a high wide around the outside as he gets by the 91 of Modernock. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, we have a parking lot down here in between one and two. Looks like both Corey and Mike Stapleton, the seven of Partridge, and the 63 of Mike Nichols, all sitting the wrong way on a one-way. Not sure what happened, but wow. Just about ready to try it again. Into three, coming off a of four, looking, looking, green flag in the end. As they head down the front stretch and fire off into one and two. This time it's Lucky not getting as good of a start. Modernock to the outside, here comes Badger, almost pushing it three wide for just a moment. But as they come out, Clucky is still going to come around and lead lap number one. Adam Clucky with the lead. Brock Badger making moves, not faking moves. Looking for the top spot. Trying to go to the point down the back straight away this time. He's on the top shelf in the 50B car. He knows the head down the back straight away. It is the 0-2 car coming back on the inside. Side by side for the lead up at front. Battle is still on side by side for that number one position and the thousand bucks that goes with it. Right behind him, here comes the. Seventy-two of Hildebaugh. Hildebaugh now trying to go around oh, the O2 of Bucky. 
for third, and they are going three and four wide behind them. We're at least two wide, even three wide throughout the top ten. We got contact. Badger gets clobbered in turn number two. And he goes from the lead to facing the wrong way in turn number two. Put it out. Three down. 22 to go. And Mardernock also involved, so Heartbreak City for a couple of podium runners so far in this main event. He looks to continue to show the way. Still a lot of race left to go with 22 laps in left to put under these cars. Matt Stubbe is going to drop the green. We are back to racing. In your Smithfield stock cars, 1,000 to win special kill the ball on the high side he's getting a good run but he can only catch up to the back bumper of clucky as uh, now going into three he's gonna try to get to the high side but clucky on the low side has a better run adam clucky is gonna lead the lap he'll the ball second but here comes the world behind him clucky has the top spot he'll the ball wants it he is upstairs and will try to power off a turn number two this time he will pull even with the 0-2 down the back straightaway and even nose ahead into turn number three and four. It's a dandy up front. The whole top five is almost spread across the racetrack. We are pushing four wide coming out of turn four down the front stretch as here comes Nichols. It was Nichols, Vondrak, Blessington, and others. But Micah Hildeball once again coming to the outside of Clucky as he's trying, cannot do it though. Clucky once again, the low side is the right side. He retains the lead. Maybe slight contact from Bondrak as he tries to shoot the gap into two this time. He will stay with the 72 down the back straight away. Still coming after him. Nichols there with a little bump to the bumper. And he is going top shelf as well. Somehow, Clucky is still leading this main event. Adam Clucky, we have seen this before. With him and his dad, when his dad used to drive, Terry Clucky, when they find a line that works for them, their cars are almost unstoppable. Right now, Hildebaugh again to the high side as he has Vondrak right behind him. Clucky again able to hold off. This time, Hildebaugh goes a little high. Vondrak able to get by him. Vondrak thought he had a hold again underneath Clucky going into one that time, but he did not. He's still in the runner-up spot, and he is on the outside trying to get after it. Still up top, into three, coming off a of four. Nichols in the fourth spot. He wants a piece of this action as well. Clucky still remains the leader. It is Clucky, Vondrak, Blessington, and Nichols top four. Then you add in Hildebaugh as Devin Smith also coming up. And then the box home bullet, Tyler Pickett, all right there. You have seven cars with it. Oh, Hildebaugh bobbles once again. That's going to allow Pickett to get underneath of them. Four, six. They were three wide momentarily for the number two spot. Vondrak still just nosing ahead down the back straightaway. Nichols trying to follow him. Here comes Blessington on the inside. And Clucky is all of a sudden shuffled back to the fourth position after leading from basically the drop of the green flag. Mike Nichols, the new leader off of turn number four. Nichols and Vondrak side by side coming out of the board down the front stretch as they sling it down into one and two. Little bit of a bobble for the 63. Vondrak's going to retain as they go down the back stretch. Now it is Clucky battling along with uh, Brian, Flying Brian Blessington for that third place spot. But it is Vondrak leading. Nichols once again to the low side trying to take over that lead. Almost halfway home. Vondrak continues to use the high side and he gets ahead down the back straightaway once again. Blessington with a run down the back straight as well going after Nichols for the runner up spot. Clucky in fourth. And into fifth now is Tyler Pickett as they're side by side for the lead again. As they click off another lap, 12 laps to go. It is still Von Rack with the lead. But meanwhile, second place up for grabs is Nichols was being hounded by the 92B of Blessington. Now Nichols, he is gonna go to the Arby's. He is gonna get some sliders. New leader Nichols pulling off a textbook slide job. What a maneuver by Nichols to take the lead there. Three wide for the top spot off of turn number two. 
Bondrak still ahead in the runner-up spot right now. He tries to keep the number two spot. Blessington has the bottom. Nichols showing the way as we have 10 to go this time. A little bit further back in the top five. It is still Adam Plucky, Tyler Pickett side by side. Dandy of a battle between those two drivers. As second and third also up for grabs with Blessington and Bondrak. But now you see Nichols. He has gotten that lead and he is starting to gap very, very slightly minute amounts, but he is still starting to gap that battle for second and third. Nichols still up top. Blessington on the bottom. He gets ahead, but now Vondrak with a nice run. Can he get underneath Nichols going into three and four is the question. Not quite this time. Nichols drifts up the racetrack slightly. It's still a three-car battle for the lead. I'm eating my plate of crow now as not only is he no longer gapping, but he has Blessington and Vondrak right there. Once again, they're three wide coming out of two. Vondrak trying desperately to get underneath that 63 and try to get a little bit of an advantage, but Nichols, the car, just absolutely loved the it's on. Nichols leads off another lap. A lone possible lap traffic car looming in the next few laps for this three wide battle for the lead that's been raging for several laps at this point. Nichols still nosing ahead. Vondrak on the bottom side. Can't quite get in that time of four. Joe Merrill is about to become the lap traffic is never mind the top three just breeze right by him on the high side but that also gave Vondrak a chance to get up to the left rear quarter panel show his nose to Nichols now as they're going to come through Nichols again just so strong off that high side Vondrak not able to capitalize Nichols still the man in charge. Vondrag wants it bad. He's had a taste of leading. I don't know if he's let a, officially let a lap at this point. 66 car still strong, trying to go to the bottom side of the racetrack, trying to get that run off the corner. Nichols continues to lead. Four laps to go right now. It is still Nichols, Vondrag, and Blessington. One, two, and three. This time Vondrag gets a great run coming off still can only get up to the rear quarter of, Ble or of uh, Nichols. Nichols again bobbles. This time he goes over the cushion, and we got Vondrak. No, Vondrak still cannot capitalize three to go. Got that much closer. Blessington is right there. He's on the top shelf. Nichols is in his lane. Can Vondrak with clear track in front of him get the run? No, it's Blessington off the top side, but he drifts up the racetrack coming into three and four. Vondrak still on the bottom. Blessington with a little run. He pushes up again, and Nichols comes to two to go. If there's anything left in the 66 of Vondrak and the 092B of Blessington, they need to show it now. The white flag will be out this next time by. No more time to hold back. If you have something for Nichols, you better do it now. Mike Nichols comes out of four. He is three eighths of a mile away from a thousand dollar payday. As a 28, problems with the 28 and the caution is out. Caution is out. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a Miriam's Dictionary, a Webster's Dictionary, an Old English Dictionary, I don't know, a dictionary of some kind, you look up the phrase barn burner, you're going to see into the future and see what we're about to all witness here with these last two laps. And it is Mike Nichols' race to lead as he is the leader. RPMs are up. Green is out. Nichols with an amazing start. They are going to head down into one and two. Here comes Blessington. Blessington going to the whip. He is on the back bumper of the 63. He is going to have three and four and then one lap left. Can he do anything with Mike Nichols? Nichols twitches a little bit out of four, but he takes the white flag. Nichols leads into one and two. Blessington trying to get to the back bumper. 
and do something about it down the back straightaway. Gaps him by three car lengths, does Mike Nichols. Nichols into three, off of four, for the final time. An instant classic at Crawford County Speedway goes to Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols will win a thousand bucks. Flying Brian Blessing in second, Mike Vondrack third, Adam Clucky in fourth, and Ryan Webb will round out that top five.